everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video today. Ladies and gentlemen, we are finishing up WWE Elite Series 83 with our final review of Dusty Rhodes. You know, usually there's two figures featured in this final ranking video where we go over the last two figures in the set, then we rank the set and we talk about the full set as a whole and talk about how trash it is, how great it was, how meh it was, and today we're going to do the same thing, but we don't have two figures, we just have the one. So what we're going to do is run through Dusty real quick, you know, find out what he's all about, see how he compares to his other figures, was he worth the pick? up all of those good things what you guys need to know about it and then we will rank elite series 83 from worst to best so here's the dusty figure overall pretty good packaging here our first dusty roads elite since elite 63 so it's been 20 elite series since our last one in the main elite line i think those are the only two in the main elite line the other ones came in the legend series i think we also had the one that came with the wcw basic ring and i think outside of that we might have had one more i can't remember i don't think we did i think we only had four i think this is our fourth total but here's your front viewing window nice image of Dusty there. On the side, another image of Dusty. On the back, you got another image of Dusty as well as a little bio read. If you want to read it, you can pause it now. On the side, you got the same image on the side of the packaging as the back, and that pretty much does it for our Dusty Rhodes packaging, guys. So with that being said, let's crack this hoe open, find out what he's all about, and rank Elite Series 83 from worst to best. So here's the American Dream out of the packaging, guys, and I forgot to tell you guys, if you'd like to grab this figure as well as the rest of Elite Series 83 or any other action figures from wrestling, WWE, AEW, farts, and bags, go over to Ringside Collectibles, wrestlingfigures.com, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Huge shout out to Ringside Collectibles for always making the reviews possible over here on the channel. So definitely go over there, use that promo code, save yourself some money, but here's Dusty out of the packaging, looking pretty swell. We're going to dive into all of the things about this figure, get into it and everything like that. Now, what we're going to do first is we are going to be covering his accessories first and then we will move on and cover Dusty himself and then get into the ranking of Elite Series 83. So with that being said guys, let's dive into Dusty Rhodes accessories. So getting into Dusty's accessories, guys, I think the main thing that a lot of people are going to like about this is the poncho. We got the poncho, loncho, concho, poncho, loncho piece of arse and I don't know what the hell I'm saying, but it's a nice poncho. It's got a good material. It kind of feels like Shinsuke Nakamura or Finn Balor's jacket is kind of what I compare it to. It's the same material. You got the nice fringe going on at the end. You got the red polka dot. It just slides over the figure's head. It doesn't have any like Velcro on it, so you just place it over the figure's head and it covers him up. You can put this on a lot of other figures too, but this is a nice piece. I like the way this looks and everything like that. Really good job on the poncho. Outside of that, he does come with three pairs of interchangeable hands. Out of the packaging, he comes with fists. He also comes with choke slamming hands, which are nice to see. Probably would have preferred to see some mic holding hands, but you know, it's not a big deal. And then he also has the you can't see me hands or the wide open hands. So that's pretty cool as well. I have like 10,000 of these because of all the Finn Balor elites I have, but there is the interchangeable hands that you come with, and then he also comes with his cowboy hat or his hat, and it also has this detail around it. It's got the little rope around it that's tied off nice, kind of like a flat, yellowy gold, brownish color, sort of. Looks pretty good. I think this does fit on the figure, so there you go. You love to see it. Sometimes you guys know that sometimes the figure's hats don't even go on the figures themselves that they come with, but it does seem that like this hat does go on the figure nice, so that, that's always something we love to see here on the channel, but that pretty much does it for Dusty's accessories, guys. So let's go ahead and dive into Dusty himself. So getting into Dusty, guys, here is the face scan that we got going on. This is a new face scan. I don't think we've seen this head sculpt before. I think this is brand new. The hair sculpt looks really good. I like the hair color. Likeness is solid. I don't think it's a perfect head sculpt by any means, but I don't dislike it or hate it in any way. You got the signature Dusty torso. One thing that I'm not fond of with Dusty Elites usually is that the waist is kind of loose. It's not super duper loose, but it's definitely noticeable. I feel like that always happens with my Dusty Elite. My Elite 63 was like this, and uh, I'm sure that any other Dusties are going to be like this. I, I guess it's just the way they, they make them. You know, a lot of Triple H's are like that as well. You got the regular arms that we like to see. He's got a little markage right there. Don't know what that's about. Looks like some stain from the poncho. White wrist tape. You got the red elbow pad right there that we, you know, that's synonymous with Dusty Rhodes. It's got the double elbow pad look going on. You got the black trunks with the red polka dots going all the way around, which looks good. It doesn't look like it's like a pattern repeated. It does look completely random and looks like the tights, so that, yeah, it's something you love to see. You don't want to just see some crap thrown together. Pretty chunk legs for Dusty. He was a big man, 275, so he, he legs are looking good right there. I always love his knee pads. The knee pads look really good on Dusty Rhodes figures, so you got the black knee pads to go with your black trunks, and you also have your signature Dusty Cowboy boots right here with the black right there, and they got the flaps down there that say Rhodes on the side. You got these nice decals going around, black and white colorway and everything like that. And another thing that Dusty Rhodes figures always buy me with is the legs, man. The legs, like, the splitsies aren't hard, but you are not gonna, like, dude, look at this. He can barely kick forward, really. like, listen to that. 
that sounds like that ish is going to snap at any moment. So, like, you do get nice thigh cut. Like, he can bend his knee and everything. But, like, going forward and stuff, I feel like his leg is going to pop off at any John Brown moment. And I don't like that. That really, really bothers me. But that pretty much does it for your Dusty Rhodes Elite action figure, guys. So, let's get into some Dusty Rhodes Elite figure comparisons. So, for your Dusty Rhodes Elite figure comparisons, guys, here's the Elite 63 up next to the new Elite 83. And I think I like the attire better for the Elite 63. I just think this is more synonymous with Dusty Rhodes. I like the DR here and the red and white going on. Not that this one's bad. You could even do a head swap. I think I do like this head sculpt better than this one. And it looks like it sits better than this one. This one sits a bit low in my personal opinion. But there is the Elite 63. You have the Elite 83. And then you have his sons, right? We got to get his sons in here. So up next to Dusty is Dustin. And then we have Cody to compare him with. So if you guys want to see all of them up now. Oh my God. Embarrassment. So there is Dustin from the Blood Brothers 2-pack from the AEW and Rivaled Ringside Exclusive. And then we we have the UK exclusive Cody figure which looks really good with the red boots and the silver and the skin tone. So if you guys want that, it's kind of cool how like you can actually see their likeness through all three of them standing right here, even in figure form. So I think that's absolutely phenomenal. All of them look good next to each other. They're kind of matching right there. I mean they're all three kind of matching. If, if the blue on this figure was black, then it'd be all over with but nonetheless, there are your Dusty Rhodes Elite figure comparisons. But we don't have another figure to look at guys. So with that being said it is time in the... It is time now to rank Elite Series 80 three from worst to best. All right, guys, it is that time of the video where we are going to rank Elite Series 83 from worst to best. Now, coming into this ranking, uh, it took me a minute to come up with it, but it wasn't like other rankings where it literally took me a little bit to come up with it. I think this took me a decent amount of time, not overly, you know, overly, overly analyzing it. I thought it was pretty cut and dry what we got right here. You guys can let me know what you think of it down in the comment section below, but let's come in at the bottom of the ranking. We only have five figures instead of six, and you guys know the rules of the ranking system. You know, what goes into the ranking? Excitement level for the figure, posability, how good it feels in the hand, accessories, lightness, accuracy. I mean, there's a lot of things that go into it, but those are the biggest things. Also, if a figure comes in at the bottom, it does not mean that it doesn't have any redeeming qualities. And just because a figure is number one doesn't mean that it is without any faults whatsoever. So let's go ahead and dive into the ranking, guys. Coming in at number five, it's going to be Dusty, okay? Dusty comes in at bottom at the number five ranking, simply just because I feel like the other figures are better. It's not a perfect head sculpt. I also don't like the loose waist that he's got and on top of that guys his legs are just I, I just cannot stand like look at this leg his leg won't even like stat like this should have been left behind in Elite Series 1 man like that's not a good figure man I, I just can't like look at that it won't even stay in position and I know you can say he's a big dude but dude he's an action figure let me move his legs put everyone on ball joints and call it a day if you put everybody on ball joints everyone could move the same but you know what Brad you don't get to do things. So there's our number five is Dusty. Coming in at number four, guys, it's going to be Sasha. Sasha Banks is going to come in at the number four spot for me. Now, overall, I really do like the Sasha. I think it's the best Sasha to date. The only thing is, I don't know what, it's just something about it just is it's just leaving me wanting more. I think it's the head sculpt, like the likeness to her isn't the best here. It's not bad by any means, but I think it's kind of that Becky Lynch syndrome going on where, you know, we just have not, we have not come up with the perfect head sculpt. We just cannot perfect the head sculpt, and that is going to deduct some football points here, and she's going to come in at the number four. Not that she's bad. I think she's great. I just don't like her as much as other figures. Coming in at the number three ranking, guys, it's going to go to Trash Corbin. Trash Corbin actually would have been ranked a little bit higher, guys, but his formula is just so weird, right? I mean, he's supposed to be 6'6". He's shorter than Edge right here. They listed him at 6'2 on the back of the packaging, but uh, he is not 6'6 by any means. Like, Drew McIntyre is supposed to be an inch shorter than him. He comes in shorter here. They gave him the Dean Ambrose torso mold, which is a little bit too ripped up for me. And they gave him basic Dolph Ziggler arms, and I don't know. It's just very weird. Another thing is, is he's on ratchet joints, but you can move his legs around. What's up with that? Why can't I pose my trash, but I can't pose my Dusty? Makes no sense, but this Trash Corbin has a great head sculpt. I like it. It's actually a pretty damn good figure as far as trash is concerned, so that's pretty cool. They also left off his star tattoo right there, which bothers me how it's not symmetrical right there even though it is in real life so yeah trash corbin comes in at number three coming in at a two and one guys you probably can already guess it by now but number two is going to be drew mcintyre and number one is going to be edge now the reason that edge beat out drew mcintyre is just because really excitement level i've been wanting an updated edge forever i've been wanting this attire forever edge is one of my goats so getting an updated figure of him the head sculpt's phenomenal the cloth t-shirt i love the gear even though it is missing a 
lot. The torso is not that accurate. I was still much more excited for this than this figure. I do love the updated skin tone. I love the head sculpt. I love the attire of the Drew McIntyre, but it wasn't enough points added to the figure in order to trump the Edge figure and get ahead in the lead. So here's my ranking, guys. You got Edge at number one, McIntyre at number two. You got King Trash at number three. You got the Boss Baby at number four. And then number five is going to go to Dusty Busty Football Roads. And that is my ranking of Elite Series 83 from worst to best. Now, including my figures for 2021, when we get to the end of the year and we rank all of those, I guess I'm going to have to include these figures simply because these won't hit retail till 2021, even though they could have fit into my top figures of the year. For this year, I'm going to include them in my 2021, so we will definitely do that, and I'll, I'll reiterate that once we get there in 2021. But my overall thoughts on the Dusty is I would avoid it. I wouldn't get it unless you're a big NWA fan. You, you just love the Rhodes family, and you love Dusty Rhodes. You want, uh, you know, you miss the Elite 63. I don't know how much the Elite, you know, Dusty Rhodes figures go for nowadays, but if they're a pretty penny and you can get this one for a retail price or just above retail, then I would do that if you really, really want him in your collection. But if you already have the Elite 63, I would keep that one and I would not search this one out. Just isn't enough different from it. Not enough, you know, great things about the figure for me to grab it. So that would be my uh, my advice to you as far as the Dusty Rhodes figure is concerned, guys. But if you want to grab these, go over to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com and use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. Get in on all the great figures, fart in the bags and smell it. But before we get out of here, guys, we are going to get into our random football shout out and our random football shout out is going to go to WWE Figs. My boy WWE Figs coming in here. He says Drew Mackers isn't as bad as Drew Mackenfart. And you know what's better than both Drew Mackers and Drew Mackenfart is Drew Mackenfart in bags or Drew Mackenfart in bags. So there you go. Or Drew Mackenfart in holes and smell it. <laughs> Oh, shit. All right, class, I'm going to call roll here today. So when I call your name, just let me know you're here by simply just just saying here or present or whatever. So let, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's see. Uh, edge. Here. Okay. All right. All right. Um, trash. I mean, Baron Corbin. Here. I'm trash. Okay, I see. Sasha Banks. Here. Perfect. Dusty Rhodes. Here, baby. Okay, good, good. And last but not least, we have Drew M M Mac and Mac and Fart and Holes and Smell It? Here. Yeah. Drew Mac and Fart and Holes and Smell It. Yeah, that's me. That's me. WWE Champion. Drew Mac and Fart and Holes and Smell It. All right. But yeah, I don't know what that was. But anyways, guys, huge shout out to WWE Figs for that comment. He got a whole skit out of it. But anyways, guys, thank you so very much for watching the review. I hope you guys enjoyed the ranking of Elite Series 83. If you guys will, leave me a comment, a shout out, a, a subscribe, a like. Turn on the bell for notifications so you don't miss nothing. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at My Damn Toys, And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. You crossed the line. I've been beaten.